In this video, I'm gonna show you how I save that little bit of extra space when I'm archiving my Premiere Pro project files. This was a little live performance video I shot a few weeks back, and this project is now done and dusted and ready to be removed from the main project drive. So it's time to archive the project. It's basically just a nice way to consolidate it all down to just the files you actually use in the sequence. To begin the process, click File and select Project Manager, and a new window will pop up for you. And as you can see, there's a list of all the sequences you made in the project to choose from. And in my case, I'm gonna select the main video and the reframe sequence for Instagram. We want to make sure that this collect files and copy to new location is ticked. And then in this section, make sure exclude unused clips, include audio conform files, include preview files and rename media files to match clip names is selected too. Then click browse to choose where you want the archive project to go. If we hit the calculate button here, it will tell us the resulting project size after consolidating. On this particular shoot, we did four takes of the song and ended up just using the footage from take four. Select OK and Premiere will now analyze and save the new archive project for you. So the original project size is 88 gigabytes and by excluding all the clips we didn't use, it's now down to 28 gigabytes. Still pretty big, but it's much more manageable to put on an archive drive. If we now take a peek at the folder, you can see all the files I used in the sequence have remained in place. And from there, I would now just transfer that over to my NAS storage drive to be archived. Very simple habit to start doing with all your finished projects. I've overshot a few times in the past, especially when I'm filming events and weddings, so it's always nice to trim down that footage, even if it's only 10 to 20 gigabytes here or there, it all makes a difference. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.